be strong. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Welcome back to my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to Triple D TV. It's summertime and we outside. It's summertime and we're outside, man. Welcome back to Triple D TV to all my viewers and subscribers. And if you have not subscribed to Triple D TV, what are you waiting on? Just run, come over here. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so when Triple D upload any videos, you are the first get to see them get the notification so remember man to subscribe subscribe and tell a friend about triple d tv right here so right here so pan triple d tv um before i get into my main subject talking a little about the reggae girls i want to say a big congratulation to the a asian national woman soccer team you know they did a fantastic job against um Mexico last night they demolish Mexico so great job to my our uh, Asian neighbors big up to these ladies they put on a fantastic show so again big up to the 80 woman national team you guys did a fantastic job by destroying 80 you know so now that I get that out of my stomach off my chest and um, you know I just want to, you know, big up the reggae girls. Them, they did their best last night against the USA. But as um, we all know, that USA is the defending champion and the number one team in the world. It was a daunting task, task, task for these young ladies, for the reggae girls. I I was looking for a, not a win, but a draw would set us in a nice uh, position, and um, I was looking for a draw. You know for the uh the 80 mexico game but it didn't go my way you know but you know kudos to the reggae girls they did their best you know when the game started in the first 10 minutes they looked very tired and exhausted i think they're exhausted from playing um the mexico game they they gave everything in the mexico mexico game the first game so i think they was a little bit exhausted but not taking away anything from the United States team, the US team. They did a fantastic job, you know, by playing deep in our own half, you know. The US two center back, they were like dictating, dictating the pace of the game, you know. They were all over in our, our half, you know. And the two outside backs were like overlapping like crazy, you know. They, our, our defensive line didn't have a clue. They could not stop these girls, man. And they were like <laughs> doing some fantastic job and they scored five excellent goals, you know, included a, a, a penalty. And about, um, it's, you know, all is not, all is not lost. So we have to still rally behind these girls, you know, rally behind the reggae girls, you know. But as again I say, the United States did a fantastic job with their two two wing uh, centre backs di uh, dictating the pace. And these two centre back was two brand new centre back. They did not play in the first game. They did not play in the first game against eighty. These are two wing backs that the coach was trying out, and uh, they played maybe one year in college together. But that that was about it. But these girl was had the understanding of the game you know they're coordinating properly dictating the plays they were playing like they were link link players they were dictating the plays switching the plays moving them you know just dominated our um in our half uh you know spreading the game wide opening up the game you know did a fantastic job you know as i get as i said again you know uh it was a daunting task for the jamaican team to reel you know but I didn't expect uh, to get five. But, you know, so this, this thing crumble. That's why it's always, um, you know, good to score your chances when you get them. But uh, all is not last. Now, this, set, this, this now set up a big showdown with Jamaica and 80 and Monday. Guys, you got to 
stay tuned for this game. This is a big showdown between Haiti and Jamaica. It's a must win for Jamaica to automatically qualify for the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. All Haiti need is a draw and they're, they're through to the next round. They automatically qualify in second place. All they need is a draw. Why? They will, be, they will go through instead of Jamaica but because they have a better goal average than Jamaica. That's why it's important again to score goals. We get an opportunity to score a lot of goals than Mexico, but we didn't put it, put it away. We get penalty and we didn't put it away. So now these things, in case of a draw, these things will come back to haunt us, you know. And um, eight to put three past Mexico. So they are in a better position. All they need is a draw to go through. Jamaica has to win. A must win to automatically qualify. We have to win the game on Monday to automatically qualify for the Women World Cup next year in Australia and New Zealand. So, so for instance, we didn't win the game. We come in, we, we will definitely come in second, um, third. My mistake, third. There's no way Mexico can come in third. They have not won no game and they're playing against United States. There's no way United States gonna let them beat them. United is gonna start a B, B team and rest some of the top players. And they will still still win the game. Oops. The breeze. The breeze. Sorry about that, man. The breeze. You know, I'm outside. The breeze. You know. I blow down my, my camera, boy. Sorry. Slight intervention. You know, yeah. There's no way Mexico going to beat United States to get three points. To get second place. Third place. And um, if we don't win the game on Monday... And we come in third. We still have a chance to go to the World Cup. To, to, to go to the World Cup. We will be entering all the third place team. We'll enter into an intercontinental competition. Where 10 teams will be playing. I don't know if it's a round robin. Um, for three more spots. So you still we still have a chance if we don't win the game on Monday. And you know. We come. Um, we stay steady with our three points. We still will go through to play a t ten man team competition, and there are three three spots available. So all it not is not lost. But <laughs> we don't want to go through all of that. We want to win the game on Monday, so that we can automatically qualify for the Women World Cup next year. So you know we are going for a win. So we want to rally around these girls, support them, you know, support them, support them, you know, tune in to the different stations, you know, and give them our support on Monday and hopes we can get that victory, you know. It's going to be a rough and a daunting task because um, the 80 girls, the 80 team is more physical than the Jamaica team. So, you know, they will bully you. They will bully you. So, um... But I think we can win the game on Monday. You know, we I don't want to go in no playoff. No playoff for us, man. We got to just automatically qualify in second place. Right now, 80 is in second place because of goal difference. And we're in third place. We have the same amount of points, but goal difference put them ahead of us. So, you know, 80 have one foot in. in. All they need is a, a draw on Monday. Jamaica need a victory. We need a W. So we're going for a W. If not, and we get a draw, we go off. We go off to the playoff. You know, um, ten team playoff. They're going to vie for three, three extra spot. Uh, you know. So we. I wish them all the best, and I'll see them on Monday. And guys, remember to share this video. Remember to like, share, and comment. And if you have not subscribed to Triple D TV, no wait no longer. Just run, come over here, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So when Triple D upload any videos, you're the first get to see it. I remember, man, Triple D outside. We're outside. Yes, we're outside. I saw my time and we're outside. Yes, we're outside. <laughs> we're outside <laughs> doing the stir fry. We're outside doing the stir fry. 
Friday, and Tripoli, and be out. You know, remember again to like, share, and and comment. And Tripoli TV, like, share, and comment. And most of all, subscribe to Tripoli TV, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. And Tripoli is out. And remember, as as I always said, your attitude will determine your altitude so let's go reggae girls let's go let's go let's go triple d's out see you guys have a fantastic weekend triple d's out